Trainers, Ludo here with another fabulous episode of Pokemon Go, and today the new legendary Regiice is here, and lucky me, lucky us, we have a uh, Regiice raid right back there. And I'll be honest with you, right now, I already did this, totally thought I was already recording, so, uh, e not gonna try and fake and repeat the excitement, so uh, uh, I evolved my trap inch. You know, sometimes stuff happens and you don't hit the damn record button and whoop to do. But anyways, yep, uh, now we have my Flygon and we're hopefully about to go get a Reggie Ice. Yes, Reggie Ice is here and Kyogre is gone. We got no shiny with Kyogre, unfortunately, but hey, maybe one of you can trade me one. And sooner than later, um, I'm pretty sure Articuno should be switching out as well. So, uh, and to be honest, by the time this gets uploaded, it will probably be already switched out. So, we will uh, see you back at the park. I've posted it amongst the internets and uh, I've got many responses. So hopefully we'll have a good enough group there and we will get our first Reggie Ace. See you back there. Okay, we're at the park. I have an egg hatching. And literally, I just got a hatch egg quest, and I think it's new, so. Ooh, shelter, of course. Not shiny. So, what's the new reward? An execute. It's back to execute for hatching an egg. So, yeah, trainer levels now for uh, 33 and up can do the friend stuff. Pretty soon, I, by the end of the day, by the beginning of tomorrow morning, I'm pretty sure everybody will be able to do it. First three friends, Famous, Infamous, and Kimber, waiting for Poke Girl. Super fun. I'm, I'm super loving this friends thing. <laughs> Fire, rock, <laughs> super easy. Uh, he can't be taken down with uh, four trainers. So, and then something new. I, I don't know if it's a glitch, but when you go into your search and you search something, it saves the search in up top. Just almost kind of like they did when you were throwing a Pokeball and it would register and save the last Pokeball you were throwing. So I don't know if it's a glitch, but I like being able to search for shiny or search for fire and then go back and not have to type that again. Okay. All right, here we go. Should be thin.
Oh, see, look, see that? The, the little, the friends and stuff at the end, that's cool. Oh, and I totally forgot to turn on a lucky egg and start peach. Nine eggs, or nine, nine balls. There it is. Okay, I need to get it. I never AR my stuff, so. Okay, got some AR. Sweet, 1731. Ooh, that's really good. Because I think it's 1747 or 1745, something like oh, that. Oh, 117. Okay. Great throw, at least. <laughs> <laughs> this is a better graphic. He looks like he's been drawn by a school child. Little bit, oh. but that's because he's a glacier. Literally. Oh. Nice. Kind of got to throw a high. Yeah, you have to head to aim for his point. 87. Oh, that was. Bad throw. Bad throw. Codes, friend codes. And so it's nice to know that you know. Daddy, can I see Ooh, excellent throw, come on. Can I see him? Here's the only straw on Bubba. Another excellent throw. I deleted it. Oh no, I hit the wrong one. I want to know. Last ball. Yeah. I just hit the wrong button. I thought I would accept. Daddy looks for an answer. He hasn't even tried to get me yet. We don't know how long he's around till. They didn't give us a date. Oh, they did give us a date? Yes. First Reggie Ice, gone. I don't know where we'll pick back up, but we'll pick back up. Okay, so it is the following day, and I have 94 friends already. Like, this is insane. It kind of just cracks me up how fast people are to adding you for one, and then how many people add you. Like, I'll be honest, there's a lot of people already on this that I have no idea who they are. It has just been a frenzy of adding people and receiving gifts. I have not opened a single one. I literally got home from work last night and I spent like a half an hour driving very slow because I didn't want to walk around in the middle of the night uh, just so I could hatch an egg to get a space so I could hopefully get an Alolan egg because of course while coming home last night trying to just get some gifts to send, all I got were eggs, so, and then I ended up having no egg space, and I'm like, so one, I already see that that's gonna be a dilemma for people who don't necessarily have all the money in the world to just spend and buy incubators, and also don't have all the time in the world to just like walk around to hatch eggs to make space. I can see that being almost a problem where like basically as soon as you have an egg space open you need to open a gift before you spin a stop because most likely you'll fill up that spot from the stop with a real egg instead of getting it from your gift and getting an Alolan egg. So that's, that's my one tip, my one advice thing. But with that being said, we are going to finally open a couple gifts here. This is the first time I've ever done this. Super exciting. Uh, Bunky Chew, this is uh, a close friend of ours. Um, Thank you for the gift. This is super exciting. Happy from La Costa I've eaten there. <laughs> See, this is fun. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot every single one of these because, well, I'm going to try and screenshot every single one of these because right now we don't really have a, like a stamp book or a collection to go back on and look like you know, I would love to be able to go back and look at this post stamp, even though I know exactly where this is. More from the idea of people that you're getting gifts from far away, I wanna see a collection of the postcards that I've collected. So that's how I'm gonna do that until I do think they will implement a way for that. Open to Max Revise. Five great balls. 10 pineapps. Wow, nice. That's a 
10 pine nuts, damn. Thank you. And then this is the other thing that I love, like this whole like page where you can like look at their trainer, you can look at a, a few stats about them, and then of course if you click up there, it'll give you your, um, your, your friend progress. <laughs> I mean, I already know her quite well. I feel our friendship is better than this, but according to Pokemon standards. Anyways, so then when you go to trade, obviously we are nowhere. Well, actually, she might actually be within 100 meters. Oh, I, I would assume, see, I don't, I've never done this. I would assume she has to be clicking on the trade button too, right? Makes sense. I wouldn't assume that she would be getting any kind of notification that is asking her to trade. Yeah, please wait for your friend to connect. I can't even do anything, so cancel trade. Fun though, see, so that's where the trade screen is. So, and then this is where you send a gift as well. So because she sent me one, I'm gonna send her one. Um, so the other thing I'm gonna try and do is, so Walnut Grove Neighborhood Park is literally the park right behind my house. So this one and primarily gifts from the fort, I'm, those are gonna be the ones that I actually try to send out to the, the faraway friends because I feel like one, the fort is very nostalgic and common for me to go to, and uh, Walnut Grove is almost like so close to my house, it's like sending you a personal gift from my house. So quite literally, that's that's where we just exchanged our codes. So I will give her the Springfield Meadows Fountain. Oh, those are fun noises. How crazy. Okay. Yay, fun. Okay, we're gonna open up another gift. I think I'm gonna only open up about 10 because you can only open up 30 a day and you can have as, as much as in there waiting and you can only send a friend a gift once a day. So I think I'm gonna open 10 for now. And then of course I'll probably send all the ones out that I have and then after this, hopefully out of these, we will get an egg. I know where that is too, I just can't think of it right now. See, and this is be kind of like the other fun thing for me is like, where's that? I know where that is. So that's gonna be fun. And and met him at the Reggie Ice Raid as well, so. Oh, anyway, so uh, granted we get, darn, but thanks. Sweet, see, and some of them are super simp. Some of them are just super simp. They give you some items, bam, bam. But instantly that right there is a fantastic way to uh, one, build friendship because you can just send gifts back and forth. But two, like I I will be sending my nephew a lot of gifts just because I know he doesn't get out as much. So sending him gifts is a way that he can get items while not being able to go out and spend stops as much. So that's another incentive to it. it, it kind of the same with if you live in somewhere that does not have a lot of poke stops. It's perfect for that because you have friends that are gonna be sending you gifts now and you don't necessarily have to, um, have to go out and spend stops even though that's the whole purpose of the game. Next we have Kimber from The Burr Fam. Oh, girl, you already have an Alolan Grimer behind you right now. I am not, I am not okay with seeing that right now. Greetings from Richie Rich Mural. Oh my God, that is adorable. See, exactly, this is why I wanna screenshot every single one of these because there's no way to look back on them right now. Five Ultra Balls, two Max Potions. There's our egg, thank you, Kimber. Yay, ah, oh, that Alolan muck. Wow, that's like probably one of the ones I want the most. He's so cool. Uh, I am so jelly right now, Kimber. Ugh. Okay, you're a far away person. You get a Walnut Grove water tower gift. This is so fun, this is so fun. Okay, I, I, I wanna open a certain gift from a bullfriend. Let's see what do we get from the boyfriend. That must be out Battleground or Stevenson. It'll be interesting to see the ones from him because he travels for his job around the area. So, like that one I've never actually ever seen. So, 10 pineapps. I'm kind of loving the 10 pineapps. That's so great. See, another one, just simple. Well, and also because I already have an Alolan egg and that did fill up all of my egg spots, um, I won't be getting an Alolan egg. That's why I also only want to open 10 right now. And then because this name came out of nowhere and I quite like it, whoever you are, thank you. From Little Free Library. Is this Vancouver? Because I feel like that's, well, I mean, those are everywhere. Those are in a lot of little towns, but anyways. Bro, 
Thank you for the 20 pineapps. Here you go. That's so fun. I wish it would say, well, no, maybe that's probably a good thing. It doesn't tell you where they live. <laughs> Even if it just said, you know, like the state or province or whatever, that's probably not a good thing. Next one is another person I know that is quite far away. Why does that screen look different? Does that screen look different? Why do I feel like it's smaller right now? I don't know, I could just be tripping. I'm just tripping on all these gifts. <laughs> Rem Remla Park South Entrance. Remle. Remle? Rem I can't words. Thank you, Marion. Five Pokeballs. Ten Pineapps. Two Max Potions. Doodle -doo. You get a water tower. Gift as well. I love it. Yay, Squirtle goes. <laughs> Thank you much. Wildlife area. I think I know where that is. That's like... Felida area? Anyways, thank you. Five Ultra Balls, two Max Revives. Easy peasy. My good buddy over in Das UK. The artist of that. Greetings from Wood Green library and shop or wood green library and shops thank you michael <clears throat> error zero i don't want to get that while i'm getting a gift two potions two revives grazie and you get a water tower gift and you get a water tower gift and you get a water tower gift oh that's so funny walking your build them that is a cute skirt actually <sighs> the girls have the girls always have better clothing all right I have, no many, I, have, I have no idea how many gifts we have opened, so I'm only going to do a couple more. Greetings from Fort Vancouver. See, this is the one that, um, probably this is the one that I want to get stops from and send again. Like, my Walnut Grove water tower and then this, because I'm always down here. So, look out for those ones as well. Thank you, Janae. Five, two, two... It's so fun, oh my god. <laughs> I'm just gonna do these two on the top. Thank you, Big Rush. Oh, I don't know if I wanna do that. That's just Sprint. That's literally nothing special. Not that your gift isn't special, Big Rush. I really appreciate it, but. Dude, why does it keep doing error zero? I don't like that. Dude, I love all the sound effects. Walkie yo, Dragon Knight. And then this will be the last one. Shout out. Thank you much. Sending that uh, Cali love. Where is it from? No way. Oh, wait. Never mind. This is the different Jeremiah. I was thinking of Jeremiah down in California. His name is Bone Something. This is the Jeremiah that I actually know here from the park back there. I was like, Walnut Grove? They have a Walnut Grove in California too? No, I know where this is. Thank you, Jeremy. I wonder what happens when your box goes over full. Can that be a thing? I only have 100 more items. I have 147 Pokeballs, 73 Ultra Balls, 131 Pineapps. What else can you get through these? Can you, can you get Nanabs, Raz, and Golden Razes? That'd be really cool. But that is it for the giftings right now. Let's go over here to our Alolan Egg. Look at how fun that looks. A very bright yellow and a very bright pink. Those are very contrasting. I mean, they're just wows. So incubating, saved my special incubator for that. So 4.7, yeah, we're gonna go out a walk. Uh, because there's no events going on right now, I'm probably not gonna record anything. So you'll probably just see us at the next, you know, hatching sequence when uh, we're hatching the Alolan egg. Well, no, when we're hatching these others too, because I think they might all kind of like hatch around the same time. So, <clears throat> thank you for the gifts. I appreciate it much. As soon as I get out there and get some more for myself, I will be sending them like crazy as well. So, look out for those gifts. Thank you very much. And see you. Um, oh, cool. You get notifications of that. Yeah, now my phone's just going to go through its notifications of telling me. Yep. Muscle Cub, who are you? <laughs> That's a very distinctive name. You got to be part of the community. Who you be? Um, yep, there we go. 
Notifications are gone through. Cool, fun, exciting, awesome, awesome possum. Still have so many more gifts to go through and I will go through them after I've cleared a uh, room of these eggs. So, we'll see you when I've hatched eggs and we'll see you, uh, yeah, we'll see you when I hatch eggs. <sighs> okay, so we are done with our walking and we have our first Alolan egg hatching. What do you think it's gonna be? Is that a sand shrew? <gasps> Yay, it's a sand shrew! It's so cute, it's animation. It's so cute! Yay! And this one is getting named Kimber because that's who I got it from. Yay! First Alolan, well not my first Alolan Pokemon, my first Alolan Pokemon was Execute. Executor. Uh, first Alolan hatched Pokemon, St. True Kimber! Yay! Super cute. And, and you know what? Right now, why not? We're gonna evolve it right now to get that Alolan Sand Slash, because that's so cool. Ah, uh, it's so cool again. Mr. Ice Shardy. And it is a female too, perfect. <laughs> I just realized that. Yay, how exciting. Egg exciting. Egg exciting. And with that exciting uh, hatch, we're gonna end the episode here. Uh, so much many crazy exciting things for today. So many friends, so many gifts. I think after today I'm going to do gifts live or I will just record them and then post those individually to like Twitter or somewhere because I do want to kind of recognize and thank everybody that does send a gift so yeah I think that's what's gonna be happening but anyways yay for a lowland sand true and a lowland sand slash yay for friends yay for trading please scroll down give me that like comment do you have how many eggs have you gotten so far how many friends do you have so far how many uh, uh, times have you been told that your bag is full because you get too many items so far but also maybe consider subscribing if you're not and if you are subscribed be sure to hit the notification button next to the subscription button so that way you're notified of the next adventure and we'll see you then trainters stay fabulous bye never mind just got home literally and look okay i need to wait for my phone to pick up that it's in service i'm a lowland rattata makes catching rattatas fun once again at least so I guess Alolan Rattatas are catchable in the wild. That's pretty cool. Interesting how Alolan Rattata and Rattata just kind of show up together. We were all kind of hoping the rainbow thing would be like the significant, significant, the significant uh, triggering appraise. May not be that great. Oh well, my first Alolan Rattata. Cool, yay, fun. And then of course, Boom, right away, our first Alolan chubby-faced Raticate. Of course, the sprite doesn't show up well because, there we go. Oh my god, it's so cute. It is kind of cute. <laughs> like, they, they, I mean, they kind of messed Raticate up a little bit more, but they kind of did also make him a little bit more cute at the same time. So, yay, now we're gonna end the episode.